Welcome to Simulacra 2. This is an adventure game made by Kaigon Games, where somebody has been murdered and we have to investigate their cell phone to see if we can find any clues to who killed them. The key for this was provided to me courtesy of GOG, so I'll have a link in the description to where you can get it from them if you'd like. Uh, I should mention it is Simulacra 2, so it is a sequel, but you don't have to have played the first. I haven't. I've played it for just like a minute, pretty much, just to test the settings and make sure everything is set correctly. Um, yeah, let's begin. Yeah, the first thing it asks you is how our journey is going to begin. We can either be a junior detective and a hardcore skeptic or a tabloid reporter and frights are your beat. I don't know what this affects. It affects the opening cutscene, certainly, because the fact that I am uh, I selected tabloid reporter was mentioned directly last time I did it. Other than that, I don't know if it affects the endings or what. Uh, I think the game has multiple endings. Uh, but I'm going to go with the tabloid reporter. Nice spot for a quiet date, huh? I bet you're wondering what the great Detective Murillo is doing meeting up with a newspaper hack like you. Look, I'm desperate, okay? I think this case is right up your alley. No one in the department has my back on this. I need someone on the outside. Just my luck, you're the only one I can trust. You say you're the best at digging up dirt, huh? Well, here's your chance to prove it. In return, you... In return, you get the scoop of a lifetime. Turn the phone on when you're alone. I'll give you more instructions then. Don't make me regret this. I love the aesthetics of that intro, all the like RGB elements of the screen being separated out and made super obvious. Looks really cool. And this phone is glitched to hell. Marilla sent you a message. Go talk to him. Click here for hints. Sure. So when there's an exclamation icon, you can reply to someone on it. Uh huh. Marilla only contacts you through the Warden app. You can reply to him there. Twentieth of October, twenty nineteen. Hello, testing, test, test. Great, it works. Got a fresh murder case that's way over my head. I need your help. Why ask a reporter's help? This is strictly off record, but I can't trust anyone on the force right now. The chief closed the case in less than a week. Said it was an open and shut accidental death. They just want to hit this month's quota instead of doing a proper job. What a disgrace. 
that or they're trying to cover it up because they're involved. This is a new low even for you guys. <laughs> they're good cops. There are no good cops. But with these damn budget cuts, we're struggling to keep morale up and get funding. Even our emergency hotline's a joke. But back to the matter at hand. I need the case reopened. By force, if necessary. So I borrow the only evidence I need. The victim's phone. Which you have right now. Damn budget cuts. That's just the problem in our world today is police budgets are too small. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Defund the police. Is this a dead person's phone? I mean, yeah, that would be my reaction if I was holding this thing and learned this now, right? It's grim and it's weird, I know, but it's effective. The investigation was a whole load of incompetent police work. Slipshot evidence collection, bad interviewing practices, I don't even know why they bothered. My gut told me to look further and this phone proves me right. How did she die? Officially? A heart attack. Her name was Maya. We received an anonymous call of a disturbance at her apartment. Responding officer found her dead. Don't you think that was too convenient a tip-off? I really feel there has to be foul play here. Yeah, disturbance? And then a heart attack? That is suspicious. What are your leads? Nothing concrete. But listen. That video she left. It seems like she knew something bad was going to happen. Have you seen it? Uh, maybe I should go watch it and then come back? Can I go watch it right now? Yeah. 64 photos and three videos. So yeah, um, it's supposed to be a pretty much fully functioning phone that we can mess around with, which I don't know if you know this about me yet, but I love messing around with like super well realized and uh, down to earth kind of electronic UIs and things like that. I love flippy switches and pressing buttons. We have a Damn weak Wi-Fi signal. One little notch there. Full battery, 7 p.m. I can't click any of that stuff. Just this. And of course, I got all these things down here. Anyway, videos. <laughs> Judging by the thumbnail, I think this is the one they're talking about. They look distressed. That was the 21st of October. Sorry, I already forgot what the date was. What of October? Is it the 28th? Yeah, 28th. Okay. Right, they've closed the case in a week. Makes sense. Timeline checks out. <laughs> Should we start with the oldest? I guess we'll just watch the one there they want us to see. This is all my fault. I saw all the signs, but I just wrote them off. It is just so much easier to believe that I was just imagining things. I didn't know it would get this bad. I knew it was gonna be dangerous. I felt it. I can feel it coming for me. And I think it's watching me. And I think it wants to hurt me. Or worse. I have to stop this thing. Before it's too late.
Okay, that video scared me. That creeped me the fuck out. You know, I've gotten this general, like, feeling that this game might have some horror in it. That really gave me that feeling. This, this feels like some supernatural entity came after them. Oh, and those glitches. Those glitches made their face look like there's some demon. I, I hate it. <laughs> oh boy. There's going to be some scary videos in this. I know it. Clue found. Maya distressed. Self-recording of Maya looking distressed. Something seems to be coming for her and she blames herself for it. Yeah, don't play it again. I don't want to see that. So, uh, let's just get a little bit used to the UI, I guess. I'm going to go back to the chat, of course, with the detective, but home. Oh, no, I press that. I can't do anything. Uh, what's this? Oh, I guess like a back is just a menu. I don't know if that's really part of the phone or more of just a somewhat like a diegetic way to allow you to go to the main menu and get hints and stuff like that. Objectives. Yeah. All right. Back to the chat. Have you seen it? I scanned it with a warden. Hell of an app you got there. Trust a hack to poke around immediately. Good job, I suppose. Looks like someone or something was stalking her. Anything sticks out to you? Wait, something. Like, are they thinking it might be supernatural too? She looks distressed. I mean, that's obvious. That's not of any use. Worried about someone hurting her? I don't think so. I think she's, she seems to be worried about something hurting her. She's blaming herself for something. She said, I should have seen the signs. You think she caused her own death? But what could she have done to feel hunted down in her own home? Reminds me of some of my stranger cases. What strange cases? Unexplained deaths and mysterious disappearances. That one time someone got possessed by their phone. This is your chance to be part of something big. Work with me in the Department of Obscure Phenomena. A discreet team within the force solving cases involving the supernatural and the unknown. Okay. Well, that makes it very, very clear. They do believe in the supernatural and also this feels very supernatural. Oh, that's what it stands, stands for? Dupe? Department of Obscure Phenomenon. Yeah, dupe. A dupe, really? Damn it. Never mind the name. Look, I'm working in this department alone. I can't convince anyone else. So I need you to be my civilian consultant and restore the phone. How do I do that? I was hoping you can answer that. I'm no good with new technology, so I was hoping you can finish what I started. I installed an app there called Warden. It scans existing files to recover lost or corrupted information in phones. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. We need to restore the data on Maya's phone. Restore the data on Maya's phone. Uh, I guess... Looks like we're done with the chat for now. Yeah, so that's the Warden app, right? Oh no, this is like... Oh no, yeah, yeah, it was the Warden app, just the communication tab. You might find this manual useful. Ah. Twenty. 
take floor. Uh, since the department is pinching pennies, I'll be conducting this training manual for our new app. It's called, uh, uh, never mind, you know what I'm talking about. This app is a powerful data recovery tool and clue detection tool. It does this by encrypting Blowfish, which is, uh, wait, a cryptology. Uh, what is important is this app can scan pieces of information and offer us new pieces of information. You just click here on this button to start a scan and the results will pop in this space here. You can then sort through the recovered data to find possibly crucial evidence for your case. To exit, just press the home button here. As you can see, this simple but sophisticated technology will help the force do our jobs better and faster. I look like an idiot. Was their budget so small they couldn't refilm that? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Dupe training dot MPEG. God, remember MPEGs. I don't even know what MPEG stands for. Probably media player something something. What a weird mixture of obviously fairly modern because it's an app for a smartphone, but also shot on VHS. You can afford a decent camera even. I apologize for not meeting your high artistic standards. I'm a cop, not goddamn Tarantino. Just get on with it. We're on a clock here. I would just write my own text manual rather than send that disaster of a video to anybody. Okay. Uh, oh. What is this? Oh, hold on a second. West Bendrica PD, attention Detective Marillo, request for one additional... Okay, and like, these are other groups of people that we could maybe contact later, but they're locked right now. But this is unlocked. Previous broadcasts archived. 30th of September 2019. Arrest warrant for Nicholas Hearth, CEO of Spark Limited, has been denied due to insufficient evidence. Attention, arrest quota for dupe for the month of October is zero. All available patrols, be on alert for any further suspicious activity between Combley Apartments and Mansfield Park. Oh, that's a suspicious activity about that was called in about the uh, about when Maya died from a heart attack. Attention records, please compile the remaining transcripts for case da, 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 and prep all remaining evidence for transfer to archive. Thank you. Personnel patrolling between Comley Apartments and Mansfield Park, please resume your regular routes. 27th of October. Request to reopen the case has been denied. 28th. Request for one additional junior personnel has been approved. Hmm. Would that be me then? Am I a junior personnel? I said I was a consultant. All right, whatever this is, that's denied. That's the one piece of evidence we've scanned. Bunch of missing files and then a, something we can restore? A corrupted photo has crashed the system during a reset attempt. Clue required a corrupted photo. 
Wait, do I have a corrupted photo? I guess... Yeah? Oh, I love this gradient. That's like a default Photoshop gradient on that text. It's beautiful. Drag and drop clue file here. Ah. Oh. I don't think this is a corrupted photo, is it? Yeah, I didn't think so. So, we can't do that quite yet. Let's go look at all the other media. Oh, that's just <laughs> the dupe training MPEG. So, the, let's go look at the oldest video, 16th of August. Okay, I'm just gonna set this up. Are you guys yeah, ready? Fine. Yes. Get in place, get in place, okay? Uh -huh. And... Okay, come on, come on. let's go for it, let's go for it. Get in close, get in close. In three, two, one. To new beginnings. beginnings! There's no light. I'm not sure if that went off. Oh, because they accidentally recorded a video. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, give me a moment, give me a moment. No, okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at it. Oh, sorry, that was on video. Girl. Wait, 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 I got this, I got this. Okay. Fifth of October. Hi, namaste you guys. That's really strange. You guys see that? I don't know you want that. Deeply cursed already. Oh, can I like scan this maybe? No, a separate button pops up when I can. Oh. You can even scroll around in the video. If there's anything I want to stop on, maybe we'll see a monster in the glitches? Don't know if I'd want to, though. Let's take a look at the pictures. 64. Let's go all the way back to the 11th of uh, July. So I imagine this is the current year, right? So I guess I haven't had this phone very long. Liked doing yoga. Detox, smoothie, something. Maybe they were into health stuff. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, you can zoom in. So they're watching a talk? These... I think these are the three people we saw in that video? And maybe, maybe not all of them, but definitely, obviously, Maya, and then also this person... Uh, I'm not sure about the other ones. You're holding anything suspicious in your hand? Oh yeah, I think Maya was supposed to have been uh, like a influencer of some sort, so I think that's why there's a lot of photos like this. Oh, who is that? That's not Maya. This is the sign you've been looking for. Some recipe blog thing. Dear God, what is that? That looks like some of the nastiest health food ever. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that's that whole group again. So it looks like they're really close friends. They seem to spend a lot of time together. Not just coffee. Is that the name of the shop? Mm, that's a new face. Really into fitness and whatever that is. I don't know. You know, green smoothies, lots of vegetables and fruit. Cat! That cat seems to be asking a question. It seems very puzzled by the existence of somebody in the room. Like, why are you here? Ah! Yeah, right after that video, they did manage to take some actual pictures. Uh, so, let's see. So, one of the friends has blue. Uh, blue hair. For, like, the last half of their hair. It's colored blue. Oh. Trying to find, like, defining characteristics. So it'd be easier to identify them in other pictures. Weekly self-check. Oh, this must be the corrupted photo. This photo is corrupted and cannot be deleted from the factory reset restore point created. So we're at the 20th of October, so this is close to their death. That's the last picture they took was on October 20th. Was that the same day as the video? No, video was October 21st. So, hold on. The last time they life seemed to be going normally was October 13th. At least that's the last time we could see in the pictures. Where they were doing their usual thing. And then after that, nothing until everything went bad. Alright, let's try to restore it. Oh, 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 so many apps. I can't wait to use them. Oh, I wonder what these are all replacements for. Obviously, mail, chats, phone, okay, surfer, must be browser, jabber. What would that be? Twitter or something? Camara? I don't know what that would be. Anyway, what were you saying? You're useful after all. Looks like some of the phone's data and information is being restored. Just keep doing this and we'll find something in no time. Are you spying on me? I'm still in charge here. I can see whatever warden recovers. So I can get up to speed immediately. 
You need to know details of the crime scene as well. It's all in the case file. Am I going to the crime scene? God, I hope not. I'm not risking this covert operation by having you trampling all over the crime scene. I'll give you access to the police database. You'll find everything you need there. I usually need to bribe cops for this kind of access. I'm going to pretend you didn't just say that. Just gave you clearance. Get it from Warden. Damn it. Gotta make sure no one notices the missing evidence. Do your homework. I'll get back to you soon. All right. Case files, transcripts, road accidents, and city records. Oh, this is going to be so cool using all this stuff. Though I think at the moment we can only use case files. <laughs> Victim name. Do we even know their last name? Is Maya enough? It's not that specific of a name. Status ongoing cases. No, it's closed. For the month of October. First and last name required. Oh. What was their last name? I guess I probably have to figure that out from the apps and stuff. Um, probably mail would be the easiest. I imagine they'd sign off with their name. Let's look at the oldest. Is the oldest at the bottom? These all have times, but they don't have days. Maya Crane. Okay, Maya Crane. I'm not actually going to read this. I'll go back to it later. Oh, wait. I think it reset the month and everything. Closed. October. Okay. Well, presume that you're done with the... I'll save the game. I'll see what they wrote later. Preliminary compilation of investigation by West Bendrika PD. Maya Crane, 25 years old, female, uh, entertainer. Um, oh my god, What is that what they look like when they died? Autopsy report by the district medical examiner. Photo attached. Yeah, definitely a heart attack. That checks out. That happens. It's, it's known to happen. Anatomical summary. Facial tears. Multiple faint scars across the face, leading all the way to the top and back of the head. As a whole, these scars appear to form a pattern. That is really disturbing. Facial tears. Scars were deep and extremely thin. Blood vessels around the affected areas were cauterized, possibly explaining the absence of bleeding at the time of death. No other visible burn injuries present. Head injuries. Slight bruise on the back of the head, suggesting that the deceased collapsed to the ground from an upright position. Heart tears. Tears in muscle tissue around the heart resembling spontaneous coronary artery dissection. Cause of this tearing is undetermined. The manner of death seems to be sudden in nature. The deceased possibly experienced a momentary loss of control or consciousness before collapsing on the ground, likely due to the sudden strain on her heart. The injuries around the face could not be determined. Preliminary interviews. No, there's one that's been comp 
compiled, and then some others that say, please search manually. So I guess they exist, but we have to find them on our own. Um, date of interview, the 22nd of October. Was that the day they were found dead? The 22nd? No, the 21st is when they died, so it's the day after. Mrs. Tench. Officer on duty is O, Mrs. Tench is T. It's been edited for clarity. Good day, ma'am. Oh my, what is going on? Is that Maya's apartment? Yes, she was found dead this morning. Goodness, what happened? That's what we're here for. Did you see or hear anything last night? Pardon? Uh, louder, did you see or hear anything last night? Uh, sorry, dear, these old eyes and ears are not what they used to be. I can barely hear you right now. Can you please repeat your question? It's okay, ma'am. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Thank God they edited it for clarity, because this is a very useful interview. <laughs> Jesus, that told us nothing. So, yeah, they died on the 21st, but this was conducted when they actually, around the time they actually found the body, the day after. Found dead this morning. Ugh. Those pictures are really disturbing. <sighs> Evidence collected. There's a laptop, um, a webcam, a DSLR camera, and an unknown device, plastic casing with three antennas. Looks like a self-made signal booster to modify Wi-Fi or phone signals. Interesting. Polaroid photo of victim and three acquaintances. Well, we know who those three acquaintances would be. Mobile phone, hair strands of various lengths, all brunette. One of them is dyed purple. Oh, well, that's probably the friend, right? Various shoe imprints near the entrance. One, one is of men's shoes. And then also a guitar pick. No other musical instruments present in the house. Huh. Chain of custody bagged to the crime scene by Detective Marillo. Sent to evidence room for further processing. End of document. There's really not much there, is there? They really saw that and went... Eh, just a heart attack, I guess. Oh well. Alright, what did you say? Marillo? Yeah! Okay, 100%. 100% supernatural shit happening. And now I'm cursed. Thanks, Marillo. Presume that you're done with the files. Anything, anything in there look normal to you? What the heck happened to her face? That's the thing that stands out to me, too. It's our job to figure it out. I can't tell if those are lacerations or scars on her face. Never seen anything like it. I mean... <laughs> How do scars work? Because when I think of scars, like my impression of scars is that they're things that happen when your body heals and it makes scar tissue. So it's part of a healing process and it takes a significant amount of time to get scars. Before you have scars, you just have wounds, right? And obviously... Uh, in the video, they didn't have any of those wounds on their face. And then the day after, they have this all these wounds on their face. That can't be scar tissue, right? It couldn't have formed scar tissue in one day. I don't like any of these replies. The vampires? <laughs> Idiot. Vampires leave bite marks on the neck. Anyway, those markings were not the cause of death. Looks like old scars, but from what? No signs of forced entry, too. Yeah, but they couldn't have been old, right? 
At least not without some supernatural cause, which is the case. Cause of death? I mean, we know that. We read the file. Any witnesses? Did you even read the damn report? I did, but the game is making me ask. Old lady across the hall confirms Maya was at home that night. Last person to see her alive. What about CCTV? Just our luck. Some interference fried the apartment's entire network. Funny thing. Same kind of interference we saw in Maya's video. Just weaker. As of now, nothing we have from the crime scene leads to anything substantial. Our best lead is still the phone. There's still more we don't know. I can feel it. What are you going to do? Find ways to cut up the red tape here. If there's something weird going on, we can't afford any delays. I need your tenacity for this job. Every scrap of information on that phone is possible evidence. So make sure to recover all the data you can. Okay, we just got messaged by somebody. Oh man. That's a lot of messages from a lot of people. Oh, Jason's been blocked. Interesting. Uh, actually, they've been blocked. They've been blocked. Chrissy blocked Maya? What happened? Some Did something happen? Like, a falling out or something? New beginnings. It's a group chat of those four people that hang out all the time. New beginnings. Why would it be called that? You created the group, The Big Plan. What's the plan? So Rex is probably the person that I presume is a man. I don't actually know if they are, but I'm going to just say they are because it's going to make it a lot easier to refer to them in that group of four people. Rex is the dude. And then there's Maya. And then I don't know between Mina and Arya which one of the other two is, is which. So this was created the 15th of August. So, 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 it's official. We're a team now. And then Mina says, do you guys think we should have a team name? Like all the big collectives on Chimera do it. Aria, <laughs> this isn't high school, Mina. Rex, and we gotta be like everybody else? Mina, I think it's a fun idea since we're friends now. Aria, being part of a group doesn't make us automatic friends. Rex, I wouldn't say no to, how do I put this, friendlier relations, winky face. Okay, that's creepy. Aria, maybe I'll introduce my foot to your face. Cut it out, Rex. Anyway, Mina's right. Fans eat it up when their faves get together. Especially when they're all besties, you know? Having a name would sell that. Rex changed the group name to Rex's Rangers. Rex's Rangers. <laughs> Okay, so they weren't actually really friends. This group is created as, it sounds like like a influencer super group kind of thing. Interesting. So that's why they're all appearing in pictures together all the time is at least when this was made around August, they weren't friends, but they still probably would have took, taken pictures like that to, you know, be together and, and post on Instagram and stuff. Or, you know, whatever the in-universe equivalent of Instagram is. Done and done. Arya, seriously, what's next? Color-coded spandex suits? Rex. Yeah, well, you got anything better? Chica? Something non-poultry, even? God, I hate these people. Or at least Rex, anyway. Arya, shut up. If you're gonna have a name, it should be Fierce. Something people are jealous they aren't a part of. Like fame fatale or... Ugh, aesthetic. Mina, those sound really intimidating. Arya, precisely. Everyone will know not to mess with us. Rex, 
Are you trying to alienate people? Mina, how about the kind collective? Nice work, like network, support hive. You pronounce the last one as supportive, supportive, support hive. Okay, sure. Aria, we get it. You own a Thosaurus. Or is it the Saurus? I don't remember. You change the group name to New Beginnings, which is what it's called even, even now. It's from this poem by my favorite poet, Lexa Costas. This quote from this piece, it hits close to home for me. New Beginnings. Ah. These tears are not mine. They're not made of my body, my soul. They belong to the girl I once was. These are not tears of sadness or remorse, for she is celebrating new beginnings that await her. I think it's a perfect description for us. Mina, that's beautiful, Maya. Aria, rather cliche, but I suppose cliche does sell. Mina, to new friends and new beginnings. Rex, God, are you always this chirpy? Aria, oh, I can't wait for the commotion this will cause. Then Maya, good to see everyone getting along. We're finally getting our big breaks. 23rd of August, 2019. Rex, yo, anyone showing up for the network sesh tonight? God, I hate Rex. Sesh? Sesh? Think we can get some real pull from this. Mina, I'll be there after my gig. Thanks, Rex. Ooh, I thought I missed the jabber thing. But you're all gonna be there too, right? I hate going for these things alone. Everyone's so fake. So if it gets too much, I can chill with you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. I th oh. Ah! Aria, I think I'll have to skip it. I'm so behind work. Client's breathing down my neck. Uh, fill me in on it, okay? Ah. Okay, well, it says unrecoverable chat history. I was wondering, like, did they really not talk to each other past that until today? But no, it's just unrecovered it. We'll recover it later, I presume. Okay. Huh. Mina, um, did the cops contact anyone again? Rex, why? They poking around? You tell them anything? Mina, no, just asking. Feels super weird without Maya here. Arya, oh my god, stop this. We only talk in person, okay? Mina, why does my phone say that Maya's online? Arya, I see it too. Rex, yeah, it's probably a glitch or something. Oh, I had a chance to talk there, but then... Now I can't. Is it her ghost? Can ghosts even hold phones? She's sending us a message. Uh, uh, really? Okay, hold on. Should I say something? I'd like a chat, actually. Maya? <laughs> no way. Who the hell is this? Why do you have her phone? Identify yourself now. Hmm. How should I roll with this? Well, I'm not going to pretend to be Maya. That'd be absurd. I'm just thinking about how I think this game has multiple endings, so this could have a huge influence on the direction we go, I suppose. Eh. I'm a journalist. Just wow, aren't you jumping on Maya's story? But how'd you get Maya's phone? Wanna bet it's illegally? I'm gonna report this. I'm working with the cops. What Rex is trying to say is this whole ordeal is hard on us all and we're a little jumpy. Right, Rex? Rex, I don't like this one bit. Uh, we've already spoken to the cops. Mina, are we like suspects? Aria, guys, please, do the police have any leads so far? What do you know? Uh, 
I don't discuss my investigations with interviewees. Mina, but aren't we, like, discussing it right now? Arya, look, dealing with this publicly has been a nightmare for us. Mina, we're still in mourning, you know. Rex, let's get this drama over with ASAP, alright? Did any of you see her the day she died? No, she kind of ghosted us for a bit. Rex, yeah, even with work stuff going on. We ran an influencer collective that maximized follower return on investment and revolutionized content circulation. <laughs> You're all influencers? Yeah, I already figured that out. Layman term for that? No, I get it. You know, I understand enough to know I hate you. Was Maya's job giving her trouble? Mina, she was pretty worried about her follower numbers. Rex. Yeah, everything was good till... How do I put this? Till Maya went legit cuckoo. Arya. Rex. Mina. She was acting kind of weird. Like she went AWOL for a few days. Did she say what happened? Mina, she said she needed time alone to decompress. Arya, Maya said she wanted to quit the business for good, but I thought she was just venting. Rex, entrepreneurship is hard, man. Maybe she just couldn't handle it. Mina, I'm just sad she didn't tell us how stressed she was. Anything unusual happening at work? You know, ghosts? Rex, uh, just same old shit, different day, you know? Arya, look, Maya always had high expectations of herself. I think that was her downfall, too. Rex, yeah, it sucks, but some people just can't be saved, you know? Mina, is that all? Can I go now? Yes, that's all. Mina, I hope you figure it out soon. Arya. Let us know if you need anything else. Rex. Later, gators. That's horrible. Why is that my background picture now? I mean, I know it's not my background picture because it's Maya's phone, but fuck me. No. Hey, look on the bright side. Our Wi-Fi signal's at two bars now. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> yeah? Rebooting. You seem to have encountered a ghost. System restore. Bunch of... bunch of new notifications. Ah! So you've been doing some questioning. Who are these people? Uh, let's start with the phone's acting weird. By that I mean I'm cursed. Thanks. You cursed me. What? I saw Maya, but she looked... dead-like. Dead-like? She is dead. Also, what do you mean you saw her? This is getting crazier by the minute. Back to the case. Who are you talking to? Marillo, my dude, you de you detect <laughs> supernatural cases. You don't want to hear any more about the supernatural shit happening with a phone? Okay. Okay. 
Her, nah, they weren't really friends. Her colleagues. Good. You read their statements, then. We found their prints at Maya's apartment, but that just means they were over a lot. So our guys didn't bother questioning them much. Idiots. Find anything new about them? Hmm. They all work together. I said anything new? We already know they all influence or whatnot on social media. Did they say anything about Maya? Maya was acting weird before she died. That's pretty obvious from the videos she left behind. What do you think? Yeah, they're hiding something. Seems like we're on the same page. Change of tactics. We need to attack from multiple angles. I need you to talk to them. Individually. Hmm. What am I looking for? Find out who they really are and what their connection to Maya is, on a professional and personal level. Okay. Who do I start with? I mean, how would they know? I, I don't know. I guess I'll try asking. Who do I start with? You decide. Warm them up a bit. Make it conversational. Try getting their alibis for the night Maya died, too. Keep an eye out for any slip-ups. If they have their guard down, they might accidentally reveal a bit too much. Okay, and it looks like the game just saved. I think that's what that thing popping up meant. So I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to get further cursed.